Hey, Shakers. <laughs> What's up, Shakers? We're here today with Braden Pollock, the founder of Legal Brand Marketing. Welcome to the Handshaking Video Series, Braden. Thank you. Coronavirus season. So I buy premium domains. Uh, when I say premium, I mean primarily one word, dictionary word, generic.com. I've amassed a portfolio over the years and I don't do any outbound. I just mm -hmm. wait for incoming offers. Mm -hmm. I have slowly bought a few what I call premium.nets, one mm -hmm. word, really strong mm -hmm. keywords. So larger sales is like 10 that are six or five or six figures. I just sold gravity.net. And what did gravity.net sell for? 35,000. Although I, I know that I paid about three grand for it. Domains are budget driven. So companies buy the name, the best name they can afford. So there's a company that was using the, the .NET and you know, they got tons of funding, 50, 60 million dollars, something like that. I had the .com and so they came to me to upgrade yeah. to .com. Packet, that was the word. Packet.com you sold. Packet.com. And they've been using Packet.net. Yes, I sold it for uh, 350000 I had it for four years or something. I paid twenty grand for it. They felt the need to upgrade. It's pretty common. I mean, a lot of a lot of the companies that reach out to me are upgrading their name. So so Braden owns Parsley.com. There's a different company called Parsleyenergy.com. Mm -hmm. And people are emailing people at Parsleyenergy.com, but they don't remember that it's parsleyenergy.com and they're sending these emails to parsley to someone at parsley.com and that goes to Braden's inbox. That's a mistake on the consumer's end, but you know, a brand has a responsibility to educate their consumers on how to reach them. So Braden here is telling us that you, you look up the appropriate person at Parsley Energy and, and do them the favor of showing them that their right. customers are right. confused. And I don't know where I started. I might have started with the CEO. Yeah. Um, or maybe I copied a couple people and I said, look, I'm getting your emails. Yeah. You know, who should I send them to? And then kind of oftentimes they say, well, how, why are you getting them? What nice do I have this domain name? Yeah. And we go down that, that route. Yeah. I don't do it very often, but with this particular company, literally 10 to 15 a, a day, and, uh, and, and a lot of them were internal and they were from contractors and I thought they should know that there's this leakage problem and they could stop it by, you know, acquiring a better name. <laughs>